forces of the Urano Restoration. I am Commodore Samuel Ostergaard of the Concord Navy. You are surrounded by a battalion of the Torian Concordate's most decorated mech warriors. On behalf of our allies in the Oregon Directorate, I demand your immediate and unconditional surrender. But I know you won't stand down, Lady Urano. You're the Sword of Restoration. You have a reputation to uphold. And that's good. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm going to enjoy painting the ice red with your blood. Dead in space. In orbit. Our true. Farah, Farah, I need a status report. What's your condition up there? The Argo's main drives, uh, our main drive is still offline. I'm working on it in engineering. I think I've got the malicious code isolated, but it's already done a lot of damage. What's your status, Lady Arano? We're on the move. Torian Marines have taken the outpost castle. Most of our salvage team is dead. Yang sealed the mech bay doors, but they won't hold for long. There are only five of us left, me, Yang, and three of the mech warriors from the Delphinus. We're on our way to the surface in a few of the mechs that Yang managed to get running. Heads up, Lady Arano. When you reach the surface, you're going to have company. I'm picking up a Torian recon lance standing just outside the main doors. Acknowledged, Miss Meyer. The recon lance doesn't worry me. When they see what we're piloting, they'll wish they'd stayed home. Um... All right, let's see. Good job getting those mechs running, Yang. Drinks on me when you get home. I'll take you up on that, boss. I'm going to need it. Believe it or not, I've had better days. Hey, can anybody tell me why the Torians are fighting for Espinosa? And what this Ostagard guy has against us, specifically? Because this is some grade-A bullshit right here. Um... I've long since given up on trying to understand why the Torians do anything. They shouldn't be fighting us, damn it. They shouldn't even be here at all. Aside from us, Corrosis, nobody sh should know anything about Castle Nautilus. So how the hell did they know to find us here? Best guess, the Torians were tipped off by Espinosa. And that means we've got ourselves a mole. I'll bet you anything I know who it is, too. Otto Corrosis. Remember what Lord Corrosis told us? His son returned from Weldry a different person. The Directorate played with his mind, and they broke him somehow. You think they brainwashed him? It's plausible. I'll send a warning to Smithen as soon as I'm able, but right now, the only things that matter are fixing this ship and getting Kamea away from the Torian border. The Restoration dies if she's captured. Um... Let's see. Don't worry, Lord and Madeira. We'll have Sumire pick them up directly. I need to show some confidence in my crew here. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the Argo's docking clamps are locked tight. Damned things won't budge. Until Farah fixes whatever that thing did to the ship, the Leopard is out of commission. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, but I'm not monetized, guys, so I don't care what YouTube says. Uh, <laughs> I'm working on it. If I can get the doors to engineering open, we can manually release the clamps. Um, you'd better, Doc. Your little fishing expedition in the Nautilus Memory Corps may have cost us the ship. I know, Commander, I know. And yes, all of this is on me. I am painfully aware of that fact. Lady Arano, I just need to keep... Uh, I just need you to keep yourself alive. Give me some time and I'll fix this, I promise. Roger that, Farah. We'll hold out for as long as we can. This elevator is accelerating. We're almost to the surface. Any second now, these doors are going to open, and we'll need some place to go. Darius, what are our options? Best bet, the Delphinus. Lord Corrosis and other support ships have either fled or been destroyed. But the Delphinus is still on the planet's surface, and she's within sprinting distance of the castle gates. She's currently powered down. I don't think the Torians have detected her yet. If you can make it out there, Captain, Grigus and his crew should be able to extract you. Breath in wrong space. Syllable on the wrong emphasis. Uh, 
That's the plan, then. Dr. Maraud will have to... Will <laughs> Dr. Maraud will have until we get there to fix the Argo. Any longer and we're all dead. Shrike, I need you to stay on the comms and guide us through this. That's how they snuck in the fact that I'm still commanding this, even though I've got nothing to do with this mission. Um, just so long as you do what I say, no ego, no second guessing. Just do it. The elevators come to a stop. Lights are in here are flashing. Any second, the doors are going to be going to slide open. Mech warriors, ready yourselves for action. If we don't get them off that planet, we're going to lose our chief med, uh, mech tech and most of our and our most important client. We can't allow that to happen. We've you've got this wheel. Guide our people home. Wonder what they're going to be piloting. So some of you are probably wondering why I just kind of sit there silent for those. It's because it skips and bumps and everything else. And then that leads you to ask the question, why don't I just go back and edit that out? Well, because I actually record the audio file for my voice separate from the audio file for the game. Why do I do this? Uh, simply put, it allows me to drop the volume level of the game and boost my voice without any real distortion. It's an audio quality thing. The consequence of that is um, the only way for me to really cut everything without adding a few hours worth of work is to um, pre-edit the video, export it, re-import it, and then clip accordingly. And to be honest, since I'm not getting paid for this channel yet, uh, aside from a few little nice perks from the ride videos where, um, where some of you have given me some nifty little discount items, things like that, uh, it's just not worth it. So, especially not for the video games. I'm really not getting anything off these. So, anyway, the goal here is survive the Tarian attack, proceed to the Ars Delphinus for extraction, and Kamea must survive. No, duh. Uh, the elevator just rumbled to a halt. I don't know how much firepower the Ostagard is going to throw our way once we're clear of the doors, but I'm counting on you to lead us through this strike. Now let's see what these Star League era mechs can do. Get Yang and Lady Arano to the Delphinus wheel. That's the only thing that matters. <laughs> yep, the other three can die. Um, but of course they're going to target Arano. Command interface initiated. Ooh, a Highlander? Lady Kamea Arano of the Arano Restoration, on behalf of the Torian Concordat, I hereby command you to... Oh shit, Ibira. They're piloting SLDF battle mechs. We need reinforcements now. Mech warriors, our way home is on the other side of these Torians. Push through them and fight for the reach. Just a heads up. When we get to a safe distance, I'm going to set off a little surprise I left behind for our Torian friends. Oh, Commander, this is You'll see. Trust me. You're going to love it. I love Yang. Oh, hell. Firestar. Damage is minor, Commander. He seems kind of weak. Uh, well, at least it's a bunch, a bunch of light mechs. That's all you got? Okay. Do I get to go yet? There we go. All right. Uh, so Rainer gets. To hey move. there. So this gives me two and puts me in the rear arc of this fire starter. He gets to come down. He's going to be my first. On my way. 
because have something. fire starter. Oh, only 41%. Come on, at point blank. The director is not strong. That's one down. Hope we can salvage that. I don't want it. Yeah, obviously Kamei is the target. Okay, Canola. Got something you want done? Yes, Mr. Oily. I want you to take this guy out. You don't mind if I call you Mr. Oily, do you? Ooh, you got a lot of firepower. I'm not going to waste you on the back of somebody's mech. On my way. That's not a bad configuration here. Oh, do I go for the Jenner or do I go for this, uh, the Shadowhawk? I'm thinking the Shadowhawk. Oh, it's got an overheat warning just off the first salvo. Let's take it, though. Engaging. Yeah, they took out some of his weaponry. That hit something good. Not good enough. Watch my six! Oh, this sucks. Okay. Yep. Let's move the Highlander forward. And let's go ahead and knock out the Shadowhawk once and for all. Yeah, yes, I know there's a commando there, but it's a commando, guys. Uh, I'm going to hang on to the Gauss Slug and the LRMs. Everything else we'll go with. Tango down. Tell me what you need. Let's just punch a commando. The biggest thing in the game, an Atlas versus a commando. The smallest thing in the game. This will be amusing. Melee range for the target eliminated. <laughs> was great. Okay, the Jenner gets its move. Run away, little Jenner. Run away. Oh, man. Really? Incoming bandit. Yeah, I'd like it if they got in a little quicker. Okay, Jenner. Oh, man. On him. Okay, Raynard gets his move. As funny as it sounds, I'm actually going to move Raynard forward. Start picking off this Jenner. I cut. Because somebody else can get to the rear arc if the other. Locking in. All weapons. Oh man, not enough to pop him. Whew. Small blessing. That was weird. Okay. Orders? Yes, Oily. Back here to the rear arc. Oh. You're a little toasty, aren't you? Just have you punch it. Turn on the small laser so we actually get something here. You 
wanna go? Let's go. And a knockdown. Really? No joy. <laughs> hey, at least you knew it. You know, Raynard's gonna be lucky if he survives. They seem to love him. Minimal damage on that hit. I'm listening. Okay. I'm on it. Don't want to waste the AC twenty quite yet. Or the Lerms. And to be honest, I can save the SRM sixes in this case. Eh, let's use him. I want this guy dead. Oh, it wasn't. There it goes. Hostile unit down. That'll let us focus on what the antenna while we work our way down towards the dropship. What do I need? I'll it's tell you Roger. what I want, what I really, really want. Make him go kapow. Yeah, he's almost down anyway. Now this is where a gauss would actually be kind of fun. But instead I'll just lure him to death. Aye aye. Engaging target. He's down. Target destroyed. A panther? So far, just a bunch of light necks. This isn't so bad. The thing that hurts is whatever was firing their missiles at range. Standing by. Border receipt. He's running just a bit toasty. An enforcer and some vehicles. Um, the enforcer still gets a move, so let's go ahead and take aim at him. Maybe we'll get lucky. Roger. Oh. At least he didn't shoot at Raynard. One more. Oh, good. It's my turn. All right, Waiting Mr. Kenora. Order. How far can you go with this? Confirm. You know, this Black Knight's interesting. It's terribly heat inefficient in terms of the Alpha Strike, but in terms of the uh, ability of it overall, it's really solid. All the extra lasers really give it some flexibility. Yeah, it was six one way, half dozen another. Engaging target. Oh, that was lousy. Now we know where the missiles came from. Internal structure damage. We just need things yeah. to die. Now I'm going to use 
this gauss. 90% chance to hit this sucker does some damage. Here we go. It's a shame for his leg. Yes, I hear you. I'm moving out. Let's go ahead and take the enforcer down a peg. It's the only thing we can shoot him with. I'll do what you ask. Shame they're not all guaranteed center torso. Okay, this distance should be good. Hold on just a second, and... What else did you guys think he meant? Surprise! Yang, was that... Castle Nautilus? Yeah. When I saw the Tarians were going to take it away from us, I planted a couple of demo charges in the armory, right next to the ammunition dump. That rumble you just felt? was about a thousand tons of high explosive cooking off at once. You destroyed it. An SLDF castle full of priceless technology? Gone. Well, I wasn't about to let the Tarians have it. They're just shooting at us, remember? Yes, Mr. Vertanen, of course. You're right, it had to be done. Yeah, Reynard's gonna go down. He's already halfway through his armor, and we're chewing through his internals. We'll just run him to the ground. No sense to saving him. Waiting it's not for my order. Crew. Okay, uh, we got the guy on the ground, and we can get behind this panther. Let's run that way. Affirmative. I don't want to give this guy on the ground a chance to get up. This is a free called shot, and we need all of it we can get since our morale is now technically low. Our morale points are low. Affirmative. Follow me. Victory! Target eliminated. So that was worth it. And the three evasion wasn't bad either. That shot went internal. Everything's going internal. What's up, boss? It's kind of dirty when you think about that. Okay. Primitive. Shame the Black Knight's running so hot. Can I even fire anything? No. Pull off the pulse. That's actually not that bad, you know? I'll save the precision strike to somebody else who's running cooler right now. But that's not terrible. Actually, I could take him down with this. We'll precision strike it. Okay, yeah, the pulse just isn't going to do it. We'll run this. And here we go. Oh, you... Mm. Target's taking a critical hit. Yeah, better mech warrior would have taken it down. Okay, and this is probably going for Raynard. Because everything's going for Raynard, we just know this. That shot got past my armor. The good thing is, uh, he's going to start working on the What vehicles. do you need? Copy that. Oh, since we can multi... Well, nah, it doesn't matter. We'll just run it this way. Don't want to waste the time on the Gauss Rifle. It's only a half chance. Eh, could have been better. Could have been worse. Reading you 
was Loud hoping I could use Kamea on the vehicles, but I'll take what I can get. AC-20 or just pop him as is? Let's pop him as is. Copy that. The AC-20 is easily my favorite, don't get me wrong. Battle mech eliminated. But it is very much uh, limited in ammo and kind of an overkill weapon. And let's see if Raynard survives. Barely. Mm, I'm hit. Armor uh, blow through. Internal damage. Good to go. Okay, this guy had a two last time, so let's take him out first. Got it. Uh. For the Oregon people. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Commander? Yeah, your usefulness is almost eliminated too. Uh, anyway. This gives us a clear run to the drop ship. Vehicle trash. Run, Lady Arano. Run as far as you can. I will find you all the same. Okay, I know something you don't because I've already played through this once. So I'll just make trust it happen. Me on this. I'm not going to explain because it's kind of a spoiler. Again, just trust me on this one. Aye, aye. Uh, since Raynard's just about down. He's got nothing left anyway. He's useless in a fight. I'll use him to trigger the sequence. This is Lady Arano to the Ars uh, Delphinus, Captain Grigas. Do you read me? Lady Arano, thank the gods. I've got a visual on you and your lance. Get your people on board, and we'll get you out of here. Thank you, Captain. Wait, what was that? I told you you would die here. Say goodbye to your ride home. Oh, shit. Incoming! That was an unarmed support ship, you animal. There was no need for you to target it. Tell that to the crew of the New Grange. How do you know about that? Ostergaard, answer me. He cut the line. What's the status of the Leopard, Doc? Donking... Do, donking... Doc, docking clamps are still locked down tight, but I've opened the doors to engineering. We can manually disengage the clamps from there. I'll go prep her for takeoff. Darius, I'll need your help with the clamps. Yeah, I'm on it, Lady Arano. I suggest that you head deeper into the valley. They'll have a harder time targeting you with their artillery in there. And keep your eyes on the sky. Meyer will be on her way directly. Okay, we need to get to the secondary landing zone. Artillery hits in two rounds, and of course, we may have to run. Okay, since Raynard is the only move we've really got, this thing here is where the artillery strike's going to be. That secondary landing zone is right here. So that's our goal. No sense in moving, just sprinting. Confirm. If I can, I'm going to use him as melee and meat shield. Um, if he can take any bun uh, bullets as a sponge, at least he'll be doing something. Oh, this is not good. Knockdowns are bad. Ready to get it on. Could you have 
chosen a different phrase. Okay, there's nothing we can hit that way, so we're just gonna sprint. On the move, full speed. Now this is going to be a slugfest. There's no two ways about this. Standing by. Now she can do lob shots from wherever she goes, but here she's got a straight shot, so I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm on my way. Hopefully I can hit with something good. This I can hit with everything. So I can go after the Vindicator or the Griffin. So that's a medium. They're both mediums. Um... That PPC would suck. Same with the LRMs. Eh, it's about the same, honestly. I think the Vindicator is a bigger target. All right, we'll precision strike him. Not great. This is where I break out that AC-20. Um, to that end, I'll pull out one of the medium pulse lasers. And let's get this show on the... Well... That's better. Let's get the show on the road. Please pop him in one shot. Confirmed. Yes. You chose the wrong side. That is the power of the AC-20. Last time I played this, I had Kamea so far in the backfield I couldn't field her, so my biggest mech was just so hard to bring into bear, so I had to just charge through. Yeah. Um, and again, like I was telling you guys earlier in another episode, I do spot check these, and that's that's how. Uh, let's see, the Highlander's about to fall over. <laughs> so, um, this is one of those tough call scenarios. There's nothing here really that gives me a good advantage in terms of moving and shooting. So... Really, I'm just going to kind of close the gap. Take our chances with the knockdown. I don't like it. No, I don't. Um, you know what? Better yet. Let's go ahead and just try to take advantage of the move here. And I'll do what I can. I'm going to just brace. She's big. She's heavy. But I don't want to lose this one. Besides, it reduces damage. And that's one advantage of using that Barely evasion. hit, Commander. It allows us to get closer My to the My forces are closing in on you, Lady Urano. Your time is running out. Okay, Ranid, get back into race mode. Roger, double time. Make it triple time. Yeah, it amazes me to have a good old southern boy in space. But, you know, whatever. Ready for orders. All right, Mr. Oil, run in. Call. Okay, that gets his front arc. Yeah, I can live with that. Um, I'm gonna be shooting for that enforcer. I copy. Lady Irano, we've got incoming assault mechs. Just another obstacle to overcome. For the restoration. He's running pretty cool, so I don't feel too bad about doing this. The more mechs we pop, the less we gotta face. go. Let's see how he does. Roger. This is when I wish I really had my team, though. Glitch at all could have had him down in one shot. Okay. Yep. She's fresh and ready to go, so let's take advantage of her. We'll move her slightly in 
front of Kamea if it gives us that advantage we need. Do do do. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, this gets us more gets us more into the front part. Confirmed. Called shot, and we're gonna go ahead and engage that Gauss rifle as well as the LRMs, everything we can at this little SOV. Copy that. Yeah, now it's assaults versus assaults, for the most part. Now they're a lot more frosty than us, but... We're still going to fight our way to the battle zone. I'm going to stay just far enough away from the battle zone not to trigger the, the end damage. sequence. But just close enough that if things start looking bad, we can just jump in. Um, you have my attention. I better. Let's see, if, the sad thing is the AC-20 is a close range item. So I'm wondering what we can hit this sucker with. Not much. And <laughs> it's going to throw us into overheat anyway. Um, the LRM-20 is nothing to sneeze at, but it's just not enough here. So, let's just take what we've got with Locked the lasers. In on the target. Ooh, there's something back there. Here. Oh, no, we do nothing. Oh, shh. Raynard's in the next spot. Oh, okay, that's the next spot then. Okay. Uh, right. Let's get Raynard out of that little uh, spot yes, there to where he can actually start doing some meat shielding. Uh. Come on, little sacrificial lamb. It's time to get you into the slaughter. Okay, Canola's Ready next. Ready for orders. Moving to position. Being warm. Go concept. ahead and run, Lady Command. You won't get far. I volunteered for this shit assignment so I can have the pleasure of hunting you down. But when I catch you, I will make you pay for the death of my son. Now, yes, there is something to be said for all of us focusing on the Zeus. I get it. Ooh, he's awesome. Oh, I love the paint job. I'm falling. Uh, no point. Oh, Commander, I'm hit. No more running for him. Yeah. Yeah, you need to start running in, sweetie. On it. Now, the Highlander does have jump jets, but kind of messes with our ability to shoot, so. The question is, who do I want to take out? The Awesome's going to have three. Okay. The Zeus is it. It is. Um, with everything I've got. The Awesome is three PPCs. Acknowledge. Nothing to sneeze at. Next good solid hit will actually knock down the Zeus. Oh. Watch, he's probably going to brace though, so even if he just braces rather than firing, that's still a benefit to us. Oh, really? I think he's going to tap. Come on, send me a real mech warrior. Hey, they had a free called shot on uh, Canola though, and they didn't take it. Standing by. Nothing to sneeze at there. Okay. I'll do what you ask. We're still not running great on heat, so we're going to have to watch that just here. 
And we were all working on that Zeus, but the only thing I can hit him with is the LR... Right. Okay. We'll just keep working him then, I guess. At least we'll be cool. Target off. confirmed. And there's the knock. -in. So everyone with any luck will be in range to really have some fun at his expense. Best tactical decision. I'm under heavy fire here. Yeah, we all are. <laughs> Your son uh, was aboard the New Grange, wasn't he? That's what this is about. He was the captain of the New Grange. You spoke with him. I listened to his flight recorder. I heard you order his death. If that is the truth, then you know that I asked him to stand down. He was under orders. He couldn't stand down. But even if he could. Do you think it would matter? He was my son. Nothing you say or do can make this right. The only restitution I will accept is your death. And so, Lady Arano, I am coming for you. Pray that your uncle's soldiers reach you before I do. Uh, Reynard to the rescue. Commander? It's really kind of a shame that he doesn't have the ability to actually hit anyone yet. Going full throttle. Bummer. Don't go for the grounded guy. Don't go for the grounded guy. Don't go for the grounded guy. At least it was right. Most of those will miss and kind of bounce around the torso. Losing lots of armor. You're also on the ground with one leg. Okay. Uh, heat's not great. Hers is, though, so I'm I'll here. use her next. Guess I have to go for the battle master. No, I can I can split this. Okay, we'll go here and he'll be the B target. A it is, alright. Not great with the Gauss, but these are the only guys we've got to worry about, so here we go. Acknowledged. He's almost down already again. That's sweet. Okay. Canola's on the ground, so we just need Commander. to get him up. And he's running a little toasty. Game footing. Good to go. Can't get him in punching range, but well, I can on the battle master. But this guy needs to come down, one way or another. And my back is still good on the Black Knight, so let's let's start Report running that way. Received. Damn it, my mech is limping. And if we can get these lasers into somebody's backside, that won't be bad later. Okay. Engaging. Knock down. Critical hit, Commander. Ah, uh, come on, that PPC. There it is. Now, if I can get Kamea in, that gives us that free shot at the center torso. Let's hope I can take it. Okay, that awesome's fresh, so he's gonna hit for a ton of bricks. But she's not down. Reporting critical hit. She's unsteady, but she's not down. Tell me what you need. What I need is a good clean shot. 
and I don't have it. So we'll just do a split shot here. Confirmed. Not thrilled on this one because it's gonna let that Zeus back up, but yeah, because there's no way with one little salvo that I'm gonna take off his center torso. There's just too much armor there. So we'll split shot this. He's A, he's B. Okay. So the AC-20 is going to do a hell of a lot to this Battlemaster. That's a good thing. As for the LRMs, eh, they'll do what they do. I'm on it. Reporting a critical strike. At least we took a weapon out. And no big red uh, hexagon here, so we're alright. Now Rainer can have some fun. Um, let's just have him start swinging at this awesome. Targeting for physical attack. Sounds funny, but if we can tick off that awesome just a bit, I don't care if Rainer dies at this point. Oh, yeah. They're not my team. Um, I've still got a called shot on the ground, so I think I'm just going to take advantage of the attack. We'll move to the side here just to get us closer to the, the exit. But otherwise, this isn't bad. Roger that. Now, the heat's an issue, but hey, with this guy on the ground... We need to take advantage of this. I'm running out of lasers here. I wonder if I can engage the small. Nope. Okay. We'll just use what we got. I copy. Not enough to pop it, but... Reporting critical hit. As long as he doesn't take a cold shot at my leg. Oh, you're gonna expose your back to me? Really? That's kind of you. Oh. Don't fall. Don't fall. Crap, that shot went internal. And she's down. Ah! Damn it! I took one in the meat! As long as it wasn't the taco. Aye, aye. Stand up, because you're cool, and let's blow them to hell. I'm up. Let's go. Apparently I need to split her shots up just a bit. The Gauss isn't going to be great on any of these targets, so we're just going to make the best of a bad situation here. Um, a is the one I want to have come down. Really. So the Battlemaster gets the brunt of those. Everything else is going to A. Let's see if we can kill this Zeus. Can't believe the LRM-20s are going to be best of point blank, but Whatever. Roger. Please hit, please hit, please hit. Nope. Hey, I can look that. I might actually get out of here with all of my mechs. I don't think so. Because there's no way I'm getting to the landing zone in time. Okay, that hurt. You have my attention. Shame it's not enough Location for a Location confirmed. And we'll go ahead and split target this one as well. Not that there's much need, but... Eh. 
man alive. Okay. <laughs> Good grief. Um, we'll focus on the battle master. Engaging the enemy. Multiple targets. Not bad. Not center torso, but not great either. Ooh, yay. That was worth it. Ooh, machine guns. Internal structure damage. Alright. Commander? Let's let Ray Raynard have some more fun. It seems the Battle Master is going to be his pick of choice here, because the Awesome is not attackable. Confirm. Hey. Less firepower on the field. Raynard might live through this. Receiving you. Genuinely surprised if he does, but hey. Um. Ooh, we got precision strikes back. Uh, this isn't going to be good no matter what we do. So. We'll have him run away for a turn and, uh. Cool off just a hair. Position confirmed. Not thrilled with that, but we can't use any of his firepower anyway. He's really got to chill. Literally. Ooh, he's gonna expose his back to you. Ah, Ouch. You bastards! No ah. kidding. Standing by. Oh, it took out my gauss. I wanted the gauss. Oh well. Let's just aim at this battle master. Ah. Why is he getting up? He just got knocked down. Oh, you're gonna regret that, buddy. I'm taking serious damage. Standing by. Because everyone needs to cool off and... There's no reason that I shouldn't take advantage of this. Going hand to hand. I was really hoping that would have hit CT. Anyway, waiting for speaking orders. Speaking of which, we can all gang up on one guy, or I can take advantage and try to decoy this awesome a bit. Um, let's work on this guy. Acknowledged. We're hitting everything but the one component I want. Confirm. There goes his leg. For the Oregon people. So, free called shots around. Good job, Richard. Now, can we rebuild that Gauss rifle? I mean, that was a big one. Waiting weapon. for orders. Okay, now that we're cooled off, let's have some fun. Copy that. We have all of our weapons. I have a precision strike. And I have his ass. How far can I push this? That's pretty good. Alright. Here we go. Let's hope this actually hits. Firing at enemy six. Oh, the biggest weapon goes like the arm. Solid connection on that one. Not solid enough. And he's going to stand up. We cannot keep this guy down to take advantage of the call shots. Report 
reporting internal damage. We'll make it through this one, but man, it's gonna be a wonder if we're able to save anything. Okay. I'm here. Oh, she's down to just LRMs. All right. Slugfest. Confirmed. This guy's just a walking stick. Come on. And the awesome gets to take his shot. Who's he going to aim for? Ow, ow, ow. I got an armor breach. Reading you loud and clear. Okay, Kamea is cooled off. We want to be in the front arc for this little bit. I'll do what you ask. Uh, pull off the LRMs, and that puts us in good range. Let's do it. Hopefully this hits the center torso. Seriously, we're hitting everything except that stupid center torso. I'll make it happen. There it is. The director, it must fall. Scratch one hostile. That was awesome. No, wait, that's the next guy. Receiving you. We're just gonna get right up on him. No sense in not doing it. Uh, yes, Commander. Canola's good, but just not that good right now. But he's got the rear arc, so let's see if we can call shot it. Ooh. This could be it. Let's pull off the pulse. And insert a small. That's about as good as we're going to get. It's not great, but if he hits just a little bit, this awesome is going to be awesome fireworks. Firing on rear arc. Please. Not enough. Inflicted some heavy damage. Yeah, I should have taken the overheat shot. Go for sharp while we're in trouble. We lost the mix. Yep. Damn, what a pilot. Eh, we may still get it at the end of this. We'll see how it goes. Tell me what you need. Okay. Front arc. I'll make it happen. Then we'll just give him hell. All the damage is in his back. Any static we can give him is good, right? Yes, Commander. You know, if he does this from behind, it's not terrible. I still can't believe it. No not armor there. We didn't actually pop him. That's a heat sink. Target's taking a critical hit. And a knockdown, but it's a round one item, so not much I can do with that. Orders. Move in. Acknowledged. Given the sheer number of mechs we had to go through, though, the fact this has been an hour long episode already. I don't really feel bad that we lost one person. This really could have been much worse. Locked on. Biggest weapon I got, he misses. <sighs> Enemy gets to stand up. Good thing is Kamea is doing fairly well, so she should be alright. 
and he's overheating, so there's not much he can do. See? Um. You have my attention. Sounds good. I'm moving. Why are you panting? You're in the best shape out of everybody. You guys may wonder what I'm doing, leaving the SRMs on. I'm wondering what I'm doing, too. Actually, you know what? The spread damage is probably nice. I'll take advantage of that. Yeah. We'll just spread the damage. Discharging weapons. Inflicting heavy damage. Standing by. There's no doubt this was definitely going to be a rough fight. Uh, and he's down to one PPC, so we right. really minimize the pull off. Uh, uh, Standing by. <laughs> Back into the rear arc. Let's see if he can make good on that center torso finally. Sounds funny, since there's not much I need to hit, maybe I need to pull the PPC off and shoot with the little stuff. Just to give him a better chance. Yeah, that'll cool us off too, so we can take a bigger shot later. Okay, there's two shoulders, or er, the shoulder in the center basically Target gone. He needs to fall. Stick. No boom, no boom. He's been shot in the butt how many times? What do we have to do to this guy? Yes, I hear you. Yes, we're going to blast him with the AC-20 again. Don't be surprised. He needs to fall. That. This is still a long shot better than uh, the first time I played this. Um first time I played this. I still lost a mech, uh, and it, I had to run, so I didn't get the salvage from these guys. So, I'm not going to complain too terribly loudly. Just nothing good here. Um, yeah, we'll do that. This will let us cool. Well, okay, that works. That's about as good as we can get. And is that seriously rear arc? Hey, we might pop it. Firing on the enemy rear That's arc. That's it. Follow me and since th to victory. Since this is already a long Battle episode, we'll run the debrief on this episode and call it good, because you've already stuck around this long. Um, at this point, we just have to get to the landing zone. So, sprint to the finish, literally. I'm on it. For those of us who can still Moving sprint. Out. Honestly, that Black Knight's nothing to sneeze at. Uh, I could take any of the mechs and be happy. Well, I'll take that back. I don't want the Griffin. I really don't want the Griffin. Heading out. I'm actually surprised it's the one that lived. Um, given everything that went on. I, I seriously expected the Highlander to be the, the goner. Cooling or down. not the goner, the Highlander to live. Um, Roger. Oh, man, it's been a long game. There it is. I've got you, Lady Arano. Setting a return course to the Argo. We need to fall back to Restoration Space while we still can. Thank you, Miss Meyer. And you, Commander. You've saved my life. The both of you. I wouldn't be too sure about that. If the Tarans, my people, are on the Directorate's side, I don't know if any of us will ever be safe again. Mission successful. Okay, this went rather well. Excellent work, Bob Blosh. It says the same thing every time. Fair payoff, which is good, because that wasn't the mission we were hired to do. 
Uh, Torians don't like us as much. No surprise. Um, Highlander dis destroyed with all the weapons. Well, critically. Uh, Charbois was killed in action. Who cares? She's not my crew. Um, honestly, none of those are really mine, so I guess I don't care. The Atlas I would love. She can give me the Atlas. Um, Battlemaster's nice. So we're going to start running assault classes. That's essentially what I'm getting out of this. And we've got enough to build a full Zeus. Let's take it. I don't care what the rest is. We've got a full Zeus. <laughs> That's not bad. That That is a good way to end a round. Um, I like that. And we even picked up part of the awesome. This isn't over, Lady Arano. I will find you. And my son will be avenged. Pray that your uncle's soldiers reach you before I do. Damage report. In orbit, our true. This is why I'm including this in this episode and not doing a follow-up episode later. All right, that was a nightmare, but I think we're finally through it. I've quarantined the Locura in a secondary storage and I've shut down the drive. It can't hurt us anymore. Excuse me, Doc, the what? The malicious code from the Nautilus. That's what I'm calling it now, the Locura. Like Lady Arano's story, it needed a name and this seemed as appropriate as anything else. Any objections? She's not wrong. I don't care what we call it, Doc. I just want to know what you're going to do with it. What we're going to do is leave it alone. Secondary storage is now officially off-limits. That means no more Star League maps, no more hidden archive, nothing. Put some yellow tape around it if you need to. Whatever you have to do to remind yourselves, just don't touch it. Nobody will touch anything. Or they, have to answer, or they have me to answer to. Sumire was right. This entire sorry episode was a terrible mistake. It was a long one. Um, let's see. We're out alive, Lady Arano, and we've recovered a few battle mechs. I'm calling that a win. That's, that's exactly what I'm taking here. Are you sure that the rest of the Argo systems are secure, Farah? I mean, really sure? If they weren't, we wouldn't be having this conversation. I'm about 90% certain that the code was trying to detonate our fuel reserves. If it were still doing damage, the Argo probably would have exploded by now. Um, I don't like keeping this code on the ship. Can't you delete it? Or weaponize it? With respect, Commander, that wouldn't be a very good idea. To delete the code, I'd need to boot up the drive. Far safer to just leave it powered down. I've air-gapped it from the rest of the ship's systems, so it should be perfectly safe. Okay, guys, air-gap is when you actually physically unplug it from everything else. It's like an unplugged drive. It's not plugged in. It can't do anything because the virus itself cannot go anywhere. Couldn't we just physically destroy it by slagging the drive? I mean, I'm not doing anything right now. And I know where the rifles are kept. I could nip this thing in the bud in about 30 seconds. I like you, Yang. I wouldn't recommend it. In the unlikely event that I've missed something, I may need to re-examine the Locura. And I can't do that if you slag the drive. This is a worst-case scenario, mind you. I'd strongly prefer it if I never had to look at that godforsaken code again. But we shouldn't just throw it away. This look, or uh, c this code, what the hell is it? It's a research project, I think. Some kind of experiment. The file was housed in a research archive labeled SDS-M2. It seemed to have something to do with an old space defense program that used robot drones to shoot down warships. I know, it sounds ridiculous, like some kind of periphery campfire story, but it's the best I've got to go on. 
From what I can put together, they were researching something that had gone wrong with the drones, the M2 models. It seemed that there was an accident and the drones malfunctioned, and they killed a lot of people. The scientists at Nautilus were tearing the code apart, trying to isolate what had happened, until they stopped for some reason, sealed up the whole archive in a quarantine, and never touched it again. No, duh. Um, that's the best I can give you. Like I said, I don't have a complete picture. There were hundreds of variants of the file sealed away in the Nautilus memory core, and I only opened the one. All things considered, that's probably for the best. Alright, you heard the doc. Hands off secondary storage. Let's move on. We have other problems to discuss. Like the fact we're fighting the Tarians now? Sure, let's talk about that. How the hell did that happen? I mean, I get that we killed the Commodore's son, but people die every day. Nations usually don't go to war over them. I think that the Directorate has been in bed with the Torians for a while now, Yang. That's where their weapons have been coming from. If ships like the Newgrange have been running weapons to the Directorate since our victory on Weldry, and the Newgrange was a Torian vessel, it stands to reason that Espinosa and Protector Calderon have been doing business on the sly ever since the war started. Right now, the why of it doesn't matter. The Torians have just declared war on the Restoration, and that changes everything. Alexander, I need you to contact Lady Centrella and arrange a war council. Maybe she can help us dig ourselves out of this. And I need you there as well, Commander. Be ready to set a course for Weldry. Um... From one whole frozen hellhole to another, I can't wait. You have bigger things to worry about than the weather, Shrike. We all do. It was a joke, sweetheart. I must return to our people. In the face of the Taurian war machine, I fear that our system may begin to our systems may begin to abandon us. The founding houses that we have already liberated need to see that our cause isn't lost. You sure about that? Because from where I'm standing, things aren't looking good. I will find a, a way out of this, Mr. Vertanen. I swear it on my father's name. Oh, yay! Thanks, and thanks for your help on the R True. Excuse me? My dog stays. Well, I'm a cat person, but, you know, you get the point. It's a dog bed. Anyway, I offer you the Star League era Highlander, Shrike. May it carry you to victory in the days to come. Oh, thank God I get the Highlander. Um, the Scott and me loves this. Actually, the Highlander is not a bad mech. It's not an Atlas, but it's solid. I'll take it. Shame it doesn't come with the Gauss rifle. That mech you wanted is back online. It comes with the Gauss rifle. Oh! <gasps> I like her fix-it method. Just get a bigger hammer. Uh, the Highlander uh, 732 Baker is an ancient model from the Star League days. Its Gauss rifle was a terrifying weapon that gave it a huge punch at almost any range, except for close range. It's a very long-range weapon. But you can't find those anymore. And of course, it still has the jump capability it's always been known for, which I don't really use. Yes, it's... The Highlander was known for the death from above. It was a Northwind Highlanders thing. We're deep in director at Space Commander. There won't be any work for us out here, so we'll need to plot a course back to the Restoration. Come to navigation when you're ready. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. The Zeus 6S moves faster than any other assault mech and mounts a decent long-range weaponry. Its armor is very good, but it can get stuck in a tight spot if forced to uh, forced into closer fights. That's okay, because I'm going to completely revamp it anyway. I'm going to revamp both the Assault mechs. But the fact that we're so solidly in the Assault class now, that's a good thing. Let's see if Darius has anything new you during this questions? whole debrief. I have answers. Wheel, it's always good to see you, especially in, these, in times as dark as these. Something I can do for you? How did our mech warriors handle the Lakura crisis? Morale's important. They did well, given the circumstances. Dr. Murad put everyone on repair duty, each according to their abilities. Mech warriors who know their way around a computer did spot checks on terminals throughout the ship, calling out hardware and software failures as they found them. Others went room to room with electrical kits and fire extinguishers doing what they could to contain the physical damage. 
What kind of physical damage are we talking about? Blown monitors, electrical fires, that kind of thing. We had lamps exploding all over the Havering, so we had to get a cleanup crew on that. The biggest issue we had to deal with was a misfiring airlock. That was a nightmare, but we got it all patched up in the end. How'd the crew's discipline hold up over the course of the crisis? Surprisingly well. Our people were out of their depth, but they were determined. They fought right. Uh, they fought to right the ship like their lives depended on it. Um, it did. Um, as much of a pain in the ass as they can be from time to time, our mech warriors love this ship. They better. I spent a lot of money on this ship. Um, they take pride in their company, and it shows. I've got. I got a little misty-eyed watching it. Truth be told. Aww. Uh, thanks for the update. Commend our mech warriors for their hard work. I will wheel, and I'll let them know that the praise came directly from you. It'll mean a lot to them, believe me. Gotta run. Catch you later, Commander. All right, Alexander, what do you gotta say? How can I help? It's good that you've come to me, Commander Trouble. What happened on Archery will change everything. You need to be prepared. I'd like to discuss the state of our war against the Directorate. No duh. The Tarian Concordant is, a fight is fighting on the Directorate's behalf. That wasn't supposed to happen. It's our job to figure out how we're going to keep moving forward now that it has. I've sent a coded message to Lord Kurosis informing him of recent events and of our suspicions regarding his son. I've recommended that he have Otto confined to the palace and placed under guard for his own protection, mind. None of this is his... None of this is his fault. Okay, that makes me feel better about my stuttering. They've got a typo. Hey, As far as the restoration is concerned, obviously we're in trouble, but as far, but uh, I'm fairly confident that Lady Centrella will help us find a solution. That sounds like wishful thinking, I know, but House Centrella has a vested interest in our success. The last thing they want is a Torian proxy expanding towards Canopian space. And that's what the director appears to have become. For our part, we move forward no matter what. Not out of pride, but because we have to. This war isn't some meaningless inner sphere pissing contest. Language, Madeira. Language. It, it's a struggle for the spirit of the Oregon people. Surrender isn't an option, and neither is a fight. Um, or, and neither is flight. Okay, so fight is it. Uh, we will find a way to prevail, because we have to. There's no other option. Okay. Now, All for the rest the of the commander. I'll skip the barracks for now, because honestly, the only mech warriors who were really fighting were the ones who were perfect tens. Not much to talk about. Yang, you were on the planet. Need something? Yeah. Um, hey, boss. What happened down on Archer? Well, that was a hell of a thing. Hell of a thing. Hey, you kept your arm. Um, you were on Archer's surface. Want to talk about it? I guess, if you want. It wasn't exactly my favorite day on the job. To be perfectly honest, boss, I haven't stopped shaking since I got back. Don't know whether it's nerves or shock or what, but what happened down on Archery spooked the hell out of me. Don't tell the others, it ruined the man of action persona I've been cultivating. And besides, I don't want them to worry. Okay. He talk to quiet. you later. <laughs> Alright. And let's talk to Faraz since Yeah, boss? She got us into this mess. Uh give me a damage report. What's our condition? I can't tell you much. We're pretty beat up but I don't know how badly yet. I can say with some certainty that nothing critical has been damaged. We aren't going to explode tomorrow, so don't worry about that. But there's a lot more ambiguity on this ship than I'm comfortable with. Anyway, we should be safe enough for now. As I said, the Locura is sealed away on a powered down and air-gapped from the rest of the ship. And that's how it's going to stay. If our experience on Archer taught me anything, it's that some things are better left alone. Okay, moving on. Don't be a stranger, Commander. And actually, let's go ahead and take a look at the upgrades, see if any of those... Oh, good. Everything's in place. Including our low-gravity swimming pool. Uh, okay, Sumeray, you're the last person to talk to. In How the can I help, episode. Commander? The Argo is hosed. A bunch of Lord Kroos's people dead. And we're apparently at war with the Torian Concordant. I wish I could say that it surprised me that this drop went to uh, shit. This is an all-ship announcement. There's something very wrong with the gin we picked up on Liar have it. Please, dispose of it. Immediately. And for everyone's sake, don't drink it. 
But, nope. Not surprised at all. You know ships, and you grew up in the Concordant. I need to know what we're up against. A world of hurt, Commander. A world of hurt. Commodore Ostagard's command ship, the Ibira, Iberia, is a fortress-class dropship. They don't call them that for nothing. Do you have any idea how many weapons one of those things comes equipped with? First, there's the Long Tom Three artillery cannon. You've already seen what that can do. Yeah, that was that nice little strike we were getting. If you somehow survive that, you've got six PPCs, four LRM-20s, four LRM-10s, and eight large lasers to deal with. If, through some miraculous twist of fate, you've managed to live through all of that, then the fortress still has five AC-5s, six SRM-6s, 16 medium lasers, and a pair of AC-20s, and a partridge in a pear tree to murder you with. Long story short, Commander, nothing gets close to a fortress and lives. It can run its guns all day long without overheating or running out of ammo. And it can obliterate any mech you throw at it without breaking a sweat. Oh, and it carries a full combined arms battalion of infantry, vehicles, and mechs. I guess what I'm saying is, if the Iberia wants you dead, you're dead. The only real option is to be where it isn't. End of story. So there we go, guys. That is the debrief. I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode day, finally at an hour and... 20 some odd minutes this is wheel trouble out thanks for sticking with me through this if you broke this up into three episodes i don't blame you that's why i only run these once a week anyway that and honestly once a week is all i've got time for i've got a day job and this doesn't pay so talk to you later if you want to donate please do just hit me up and i'll see what we can arrange i've got a paypal of course but i can also probably set up something else if you want to do something more long term like patreon or whatnot uh just let me know wheel trouble out